Hey guys, this is Dakota. Welcome back for another Homebrew Wednesday. Well, I guess this one would be technically a Homebrew Thursday or Friday, depending on when I get it up, but you know, it's the holidays, you guys. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, for all these who don't celebrate Christmas, but my Christmas was awesome. Hope you guys had a great time. Um, the family came down, you know, getting to spend time with everybody, drinking good beer, <laughs> and having good food. Had a blast. Um, it, yeah, it was a really good time, and I'm kind of getting back in the swing of things, trying to watch everybody's videos, all that kind of stuff, so, yeah, it, it's been a good holidays, and hope you, you guys had the same. Uh, I am right now sipping on Chad, Chad Anderson's, hopefully you're watching, dude, um, American Pale Ale. Uh, just poured it, uh, first time getting a smell, drinking, everything. Nice hoppy. Can't remember the hops it used, but uh, might be the Amarillo because uh, get some dank. It smells really good. Kind of dank, uh, tropical fruits. I'm guessing Amarillo. Uh, maybe Centennial. Good homebrew, dude. Awesome color too for pale ale. Awesome color. Um, anyway, Chad. <laughs> uh, I got this glass for you for a little Christmas gift, so hopefully we had our tasting before this video. If not, surprise, um, this isn't your glass, I got you another one. Um, anyway, quick uh, shout out Chad, this can be your Christmas gift, this glass, and then I got a bottle of uh, the brewery's five golden rings, I figured me and you would uh, split it, so uh, look forward to this glass if you haven't seen this yet, or if I haven't got to you yet. Um, what else guys? Um, I want to do a big shout out to uh, Clemens Homebrew. Thank you guys. Um, we finally did a beer trade. Uh, we were talking about it for a little while. Um, I sent those guys a uh, bomber, my mint chocolate stout, uh, my citra, my broken pale ale. Um, hopefully that's still good, guys. Hopefully it's not too much past its prime. Um, and a 12 ounce of a, uh, it was kind of a fun beer. Uh, it was uh, Shorts Brewery up here, kind of in Michigan. Um, it was their Key Lime Pie, which is totally out there. Hopefully none of you guys had diabetes, because that beer is it's sweet. Um, they put marshmallow, graham cracker, they put crazy stuff into the boil, but hopefully you guys enjoy that. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, but you guys sent me four beers, which I was totally excited for and totally grateful for. So uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, didn't get to film that. Uh, I was kind of got it right before Christmas, kind of, so holiday, you know, time struggle and everything. Two of the beers I still have left, the other two I already drank. Um, the two I already drank was the Firestone Pale Ale and the Fire, Firestone Double Jack. Big thank you for that one, guys. Um, I split that with Chad because Chad was really talking about that beer for quite a while and really wanted to try it. So, you know, you know, share the wealth. I, I figured, you know, since he's been talking about it forever, you know, we can't get that here, so share with him. He really enjoyed it too, so did I, so thank you a lot for sharing that. Um, another one is Hair the Dog, Doggy Claws. Barley wines are probably my favorite style of beer. Um, they're slippers, the big beers. Um, I just like the how complex they are and everything. So I'm really glad that you guys sent me this. Um, I'm gonna try to get to it this, this winter. I, I probably definitely will do a beer review of it because I love barley wines. Um, I looked it up on Beer Advocate, only only heard good things from it guys so thank you again for sending me that one uh, really looking forward to that the other one homebrew trade is what we did um, you guys sent me a few more commercial beers which I'm totally grateful for I can't get any of those around here again but the Clemens sent me also their Kolsch Sweet Kolsch um, I like Kolsch beers um, this was I believe you guys' first all grain um, the label for you guys that you guys have on this is absolutely awesome uh, it's a German girl, or a Switzerland girl, in the backgrounds with the Alps, you know, cabin, and then it even, even has their uh, YouTube profile picture, which is Clement's Homebrew. Um, I'm going to try to put this up on here if you guys can see it, hopefully with the camera. That is awesome, guys. That is really cool. I don't know if you guys made that yourself. If you have a program, let me know. That is, <laughs> when, I opened the when I opened the box, I was totally surprised by that. That's, that's wicked cool. Um, thanks again, guys. <laughs> I like the American flag uh, bottom cap there. That is really cool. So, huge shout out to you guys. Um, thank you again for doing that. Maybe, hopefully more to come. Um, anyway guys, what I really want to get into, uh, 
Santa Claus was awesome this year. Um, I got, I guess you could say three or four home brewing, you know, equipment that I've been really been on my list for quite a while. Um, I kind of spawned off with some of the smaller stuff and get into the big stuff. Um, the first thing was from my uh, sister and my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law, I got him into craft beer, so I'm definitely glad that he got me this. Da -da -da. <laughs> um, what they sent me, guys, was a stainless steel false bottom. Now, um, I was debating, you know, doing a like an igloo mash tun or doing the kegel, and I decided on doing the kegel. So I'm definitely excited that they sent me this. Um, the thing is, guys, this is a 12 inch. If you guys have a kegel, this is definitely give me some shout back here. Um, this is a 12 inch diameter false bottom, and if you guys use kegels, you know the diameter of the kegels is 15 inch. So I was wondering if I should use this because it, it's going to create some dead space, guys. Um, it, it definitely is with this. I'm, I'm totally thankful that they sent me this, but I'm just asking for some feedback. Should I use this for the time being? Eventually, I was thinking about getting a 15 diameter false bottom, same thing, uh, hinged so it, it fits down in there easier, and then use the same uh, dead tube that I was using on my foil kettle onto my uh, my mashed on kettle. That way there'd be less um, dead space because, you know, it's got that amount of dead space there, which I guess would be about half a gallon or so. Um, but if you guys use these or have false bottoms in your kegels, please let me know because I'm worried if, if it's only 12 inch, if I'm going to get grains underneath, since there's going to be you know, uh, about inch and a half on each side, if any of the grains are going to get underneath the false bottom um, or whatnot. So, I'm, dude, totally excited about this, guys. So, um, thank you, Holly and Jason, for sending me this. I'm totally thankful. I'm definitely using it. Um, I'm just asking for you guys' feedback on the 15 inch with the dead tube or not. Um, but for the time being, definitely using this. Totally thankful. Um, very nice. Thank you, guys. Um, next thing was on my Christmas list. My girlfriend's parents got me this. Uh, it is, you guys can see it, it's kind of big. Um, stainless steel mash paddle. Huh? Awesome. My homebrew uh, shop, local homebrew shop, had these for about 25 bucks. Awesome, all stainless. Um, it's a lot of stainless. Um, awesome. Uh, I got this little plastic spoon that came with my homebrew kit, and uh, I used that with the last auger and with Chad, and that thing was bending like crazy. I seen these, in the, <coughs> excuse me, I seen these in the shop. These things were awesome. Um, I went to the shop the other day, and these were all out, so I'm definitely glad that I got this for Christmas. So thanks again, guys. Uh, you guys will definitely see this. This is wicked sweet. Um, looking like a professional brewery over here. It's really awesome. Um, another thing is, um, I'll get to that last. So, the big thing I got, guys, part one, right? Uh, part two, guys. So, I got my five pound CO2 tank and my regulator with all the, the hoses, the quick disconnects and everything. Um, totally excited, guys. Next brew, I'm definitely kegging. Um, I'm talking to a guy on Craigslist. I'm going to look at a mini fridge tomorrow. It's about a 4.4 cubic feet mini fridge tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, everything goes well. I'm planning on getting it for 60 bucks. Um, hopefully, it can fit two, I'm pretty sure it can fit two five gallon kegs and the CO2 tank in it. If not, I might have to do the CO2 tank out of it. But uh, I live at a townhouse with my girlfriend and another roommate. And they're both girls, so obviously. Um, don't know about a, uh, a freezer sitting in here, but I talked them into letting me have a mini fridge here in the kitchen, so. <laughs> so having homebrew on tap, guys, it's gonna be awesome. Um, five pound brand new CO2 tank, awesome, thank you. And the regulator and all the hookups. A question I have with this guys is, the regulator came already assembled. It's got Teflon tape up here on the sides and everything. Everything's already assembled. It's got the clamps on the, the, the gas outlet and everything. <clears throat> a question I have here is, if you guys can see it or not, there's a blue zip tie, and like there's a plastic washer, washer right here. Does this go <clears throat> in, inside here? Is that extra or 
do I need to put that in there to create a good seal? Uh, what What is this for? I know the guy where they got this, um, he's actually in our home group club, probably gonna give him a call. But if you guys know anything about that, just offhand, um, do I put that in there or is that just an extra for something else? Um, you guys can let me know. I'm gonna do some research on it, but I figured a lot of you guys keg anyway. You guys can give me a little shout out on that. <coughs> but totally excited for that, guys. Definitely excited to keg. Uh, my last homebrew thing I got was a $40 gift card to Northern Brewer. Uh, thank you, Aunt Mandy, Uncle Meyer. <laughs> Alright, you guys probably aren't watching, but just shout out anyway. It's good, chat. That is good. Um, I plan on using that to keg my first beer. Uh, I'm going to do it after New Year's. Hopefully, I get Chad over here. We talking about doing another brew day, but uh, double brew day. I plan to do it at my place here. Uh, we got a little patio right behind me. It's a sliding glass door. Um, plan on getting a stout, guys. I'm just gonna do extract this time. Um, you know, a little easier, uh, just a little easier, more convenient. Um, plan to do many alternates in the future, but uh, I'm gonna do stout next time. Uh, I want to do a just a basic stout recipe from Northern Brew their extract, and probably get like a, a bottle opener too. But anyway. I'm gonna try to make it a coffee stout. Um, let me know what you guys think I should do. I think about doing a, a cold French press with coffee and water and then adding that to the keg as I was putting the, the beer onto it. So um, just adding the coffee at kegging or do you guys think I should do it in secondary for coffee beans, uh, what do you think? But I was leaning on doing a, a cold French press, <coughs> no charge guys, and putting that during the keg and when I was getting ready to keg and transfer the stout onto it, cross the fingers uh, and carve it up <laughs> in my mini fridge. So if you guys could please, please, please give me your feedback on the uh, the kegerator that I'm about to build and the stout recipe, um, well not the recipe, the, the coffee edition, what I should do with that. But uh, guys, awesome holiday, awesome for brewing, awesome home brew, beer mail, thanks Clemens. Um, Chad, great, great homebrew, just all around, definitely excited, definitely thankful. So guys, thank you for watching and give me some feedback, definitely, thank you for subscribing, got a lot more subscribers recently. Um, yeah guys, if you guys want, ever want to do a homebrew, homebrew trade or just a beer mail or anything like that, shoot me a message, you know, definitely more than willing to do that, I got some homebrew upstairs. Oh, the Venom, the IPA, uh, bottled a week ago tomorrow naming it Venom, I don't know if I already said that. Um, it was hoppy, very hoppy um, when I tried it. Looking to try it probably in a few more days. Uh, let it get carved up a little bit better. Uh, I'll probably do a video on that, probably with Chad. But uh, not for a million guys, I'm probably going on forever like I always do. Thanks for watching. Happy homebrew Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.